The next stage of the dome rotation system has been reached. Uh, there is now a 433 MHz radio transmitter and receiver. Uh, the previous attempt was not effective enough in terms of range. Uh, this has a rather neat little key fob device here to act as a remote and I'm using two buttons. The one will make the dome go clockwise. One press of the button and away it goes. And one press to stop. Uh, and then if we wanted to go anti-clockwise, simply press the other button and back it comes. I've timed it for a whole rotation of 360 degrees and it takes about three minutes which is which is not too bad um, for normal purposes. Now there is also a timer built in that on the control unit, um, I'll just zoom in on that uh, a little bit. So this is the little box of electronics, uh, a simple light to show that it's on uh, and there's a reset button to set it back to the beginning of the procedure there. Um, a switch there which tells it which direction to turn the dome if it's on automatic mode and below there is a dial which will affect how often it comes into action. So if we zoom in on that you can see that it's set to 9 which is set to go at almost sidereal speed um, for when you want the dome to go at its fastest and then you simply dial that back downwards to different positions uh, depending on where in the sky you are looking. Okay, this is a view from outside the dome to get some idea of how fast it goes. Again, you can see that I'm operating it with the hand controller here. So if we get it going anti-clockwise a touch, one press, there it goes. Another press to stop it. And clockwise. And shut. Now we've got the range tested. I've been a hundred meters away from the dome and it still works, which should be plenty of distance. I had it running from inside the house between several or through several brick walls uh, and it still works quite successfully. Let's bring the dome back in line with the door and that will be the end of the demonstration.